Hi, so I'm in Chiang Mai and today I've booked onto a chef's tour. It's a walking food tour that takes place in Chiang Mai. They have like a lot of companies in Bangkok, Phuket, but uh, this one had five star reviews. You get to try, I think, around 15 to 16 different dishes. So I haven't eaten and I'm absolutely starving. So let's give it a try. Now I have done a lot of food tours around the world, but this has to be one of the best. It is well worth the money, so stay tuned to find out what the tour costs, what's included, and see what you could be eating on your next trip to Chiang Mai. Chiang Mai is located in the north of Thailand and is influenced heavily by Burmese and Chinese cuisines. This makes it really quite unique to other areas of Thailand when it comes to the food. But before I show you all the food I ate, let me tell you a little bit about the costs. I booked via their website for their Northern Flavors experience, which cost $59 per person. The website is super easy to make a booking, just select the date and pay online. I'd recommend booking in advance though, as they are small group tours so can get full fast. Our guide was Maui, the Chiang Mai cook, and she was the best. I'll talk a bit more about her later. So what do you get for your $59? Included in the price is a 16 meal tasting menu, but it was actually a lot more than 16 if you count all the small dishes and snacks that we had along the way. They also include water and juices at different stops, with the tour lasting around four hours in total. One thing that's great about this trip is that you don't actually have to do that much walking. You go around in an old Songtao truck, which means you get to cover a lot more area quickly. If you do have any dietary requirements, don't panic. The tour actually offers lactose-free, pescatarian, gluten-free, vegetarian, vegan, and even pork-free options. Okay, so let's jump right into the tour. We met our guide at the temple grounds, which was a lovely place to meet. While you're waiting, you can explore the temples before the tour begins. At 5 p.m. in the evening, our guide arrived and we boarded our little red truck, ready to begin our food journey. Be careful to the teapot is cut. See the charcoal fire inside the teapot. <laughs> The food, slow cooked in these pots, was delicious and we grabbed a table to have some chicken, pork and rice. The skin was so crispy and the meat was melt in the mouth tender. They even brought some smoked eggplant dishes for the vegetarians and non-pork eaters. The pork gets crispy inside. We marinate yeast pork and chicken with coriander root, with garlic, salt, pepper and soy sauce. He cooked 200 kilos of the top each day. So the chef's been cooking here for 16 years. The next place we went to was a barbecue grill fish restaurant and we had the most delicious grilled fish coated in some kind of garlic and salt seasoning. We then got back into the truck and headed to our next stop. Now I have to say this I think was my favorite restaurant out of all the stops. The reason being is that we got to try some really different, some really unusual foods that I had not actually tried in Thailand before. These included the pandan wrapped sweet chicken and pork and the water buffalo salad which had a really strong flavor but it was quite nice actually. Our next stop was the food market where we were able to try some more snacks as well as learn about the different vegetables and ingredients needed for some of the dishes. It's really quite all over your head. Vegetarian then up with instead of the meat, the substitute instead of the meat. This is undried. Can you make bamboo soup? Sir, bamboo soup curry. Yes. 
Sona. Yeah. And this is banana pasang. You guys know this? Banana pasang, banana flower. Wow. When it's on banana tree, this part we of banana. Oh. We make curry. Banana pasang curry. Banana pasang sa. Look at this. This is hot from the north and the central part of Thailand. The white cream is meringue, egg white, and um, sugar. To live and topping, the yellow is the egg yolk. The orange is coconut. Yeah, coconut actually is light color of coconut meat, and they use food coloring. Thank you, Uncle Dave. Just behind him, help now. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So cute. So cute. I can choose as a low coming at the hotel that she's very popular in town. I said. Her uncle has an organic sugar ten farm out of town. This is next. This stop was kind of like a sweet shop, except instead of sweets, they had fried crickets, grubs, and worms. Yum. This is sugar cumin. This is a unique cake from the north. It's pizza. Honestly, I ate so much. I'm sure the food you could go around and do it cheap yourself, but you wouldn't be able to find all of these places without the amazing guide that we had. She really knew a lot about the history of the different cuisines and how they had been influenced from China and Burma. What also made this tour great was the friendly group of travelers I met on the night. There was eight of us in total, which was just the right amount of people, and everyone was super friendly and got talking around the dinner tables, which just made it a great experience. I definitely recommend this tour if you're in Chiang Mai. Like I said, it's up there with the best food tours I've done. It takes around four hours, and that's four hours of eating some of the best northern Thai food you will ever have. The tour ended with the most delicious dessert that I can't even tell you the name of, but trust me, it was insanely good. So if you're interested in checking out the food scene in Thailand, in particular Chiang Mai, check out the Chef's Tours website and get yourself booked onto the next food tour. It's a tasty adventure you won't forget.